Hi, this is Chuck with Nerd3D. This tutorial is going to cover getting Poser downloaded, installed, and all of the included content installed as well. No matter where you purchase Poser, you're going to end up with a serial number. Once you've got your serial number, go to the Poser software website and click the link Downloads at the top of that page. Depending on the operating system you have, you're going to want to download the files for that operating system. In this case, we're going to download the files for the Mac. While these files are downloading, you might want to look at some of the additional files that are available. And this is a place where you're going to need your serial number that you got when you purchased Poser. Enter the serial number and click the Validate button. These files are extra content that's included with your purchase of Poser. There's a way to download and install these files directly in Poser. In most cases, you won't use the files directly from the website. These are here for people that prefer to install things the old-fashioned way with a manual download. Once your download is finished, open your Downloads folder and find the Install Poser package. Double-click it to install Poser. If you get this message during the installation, it just means that the Poser installer has not yet been signed off on by the Apple Store. Click OK, and then to proceed with the installation, open up your System Preferences and go to the Security. On the Security tab, you'll notice that it says Install Poser was blocked. Click the Open Anyway button. This time you'll have an Open button that will allow you to continue with the installation. On the installer, click Continue to begin the installation. You should read through the README. There's a lot of important information in there. You will need to agree to the license agreement, and once again, you should read that. The installation type is always going to be a default installation. You may be asked for your administrator password to install the software. Once the installation finishes, you can delete the installer files, but I kind of recommend you keep them around in case you need to reinstall. To run Poser for the first time, open Finder and go to your Applications. Find the Poser 12 folder and double-click on the Poser icon. The first time you launch Poser, you're going to need to register the software. This is where you'll need to enter your serial number. Once you've entered your serial number, click OK. You may remember that I mentioned that Poser comes with a lot of included content. To automatically download and install all the content that comes with Poser, click on the Purchases tab in the library. Make sure the included dot is selected. If this list doesn't have a lot of items in it like it does here, click the Check for New Purchases button. When the list is full, click the Install All button to install all of the content that came with Poser. The included content is over 8 gigabytes, so it will take quite a while for this to download. Once the downloads have finished, you may need to restart Poser to complete the installation process. After you've restarted Poser, in the Poser library, you'll have a new runtime called Included. The Included runtime is all of the content that we just downloaded. This should get you started and up and running with Poser 12. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.